Let's look at a weak acid, specifically HCN. In solution, this breaks apart to a very small degree because it is a weak acid, giving us hydrogen ions and CN minus ions. Okay, what if we were trying to determine the equilibrium constant of this? Well, first off, let's remind ourselves, what is the equilibrium constant expression? Products over reactants. So that would be H plus, CN minus, there's our products, over reactants, HCN. Okay, so what if we had a 0 0.500 molar solution of HCN where the pH had been measured and it was known to be 4.805 from those measurements. We could actually find the value of Ka given this information. And part of the reason for that is from the pH we can calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions. And because of this one-to-one -one ratio between H plus and CN minus, that is also the concentration of CN minus. 0.500 molar of the acid to start with did get reduced ever so slightly but not very much because this value is quite small. If we put in the value of 10 to the minus 4.805, calculate that and get the concentration of hydrogen ions, we would get 1.567 times 10 to the minus fifth molar. So then we can calculate our Ka. We now know the concentration of H plus and CN minus, which we just found. We know the concentration of the original acid, and so we can put those values in. And what we discover is we've got a value of 4.91 times 10 to the minus 10. Equilibrium constants are unitless, so that is our final answer. And it's very close to the known value.